And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. When we last left off we um, entered the glow for the second time. We eventually entered the glow. Um, because our companions sort of died a few times. Um, yeah, and we can't enable the power apparently. Um, yeah, so yeah, we uh, should try not not to awaken these bots. Um, I think there is a... See the remains of Nightkin? I think that's something I don't want to know about. Um, you see Sentry Bot. These, these godforsaken traps. Why did they have to put them in this level? It's not adding anything right now. Just... It's annoying. And we should probably use the rat away. Actually, um, let's do this. Let's use one of them. Uh, well, hooray, a rocket, okay. I think this, uh, you can also find um, some better armor here, some combat armor, not, not the best armor in the game. That would be the power armor, or leather armors. Well, at least I can sell it, I suppose. Um, the best armor is, of course, power armor which you can only get from the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, the second best armor is combat armor, which I believe you can find down here. <sighs> yeah, why not? And a plasma grenade. Hmm. Probably going to run out of carrying capacity very soon. Um, this room is, well, it's not empty technically, but there's nothing of interest there, so for me it's empty. And we, what? Uh, why did, does it display? Would you please move out of the way, you imbecile? <sighs> I should have left you dead when Tichu shot you. Um, why does it say that? Okay, do I have any pills left? Um, yes, okay. I think I need to use another one of those. What does it say now? That's strange. Um, these red arrays, they don't seem to be working for some reason. Uh, a red key card. An, ir an irradiated... Ugh. An irradiated, irradiated, ugh, an irrad, an irradi, god damn it, an irradiated, an irradiated rat. There. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, that's other thing that. There's to see, yeah, I suppose. Um, okay, I think we should not um, re-enable the primary power because... Well, I would guess that if we do that, then these sentry bots will... 
Yes. <sighs> of course. The sentry bots will... Well, I used... The computers... That does nothing. Uh... Wait, are we trapped here? Wait. Okay, that's good. Well, we should at least be able to get back to the first floor. Oh, we need to use the... Do we still have the yellow key? Yeah, we do. So that was silly. Um... Mm. Okay, let's let's be quick. Um, there's a computer. Okay, we don't want to mess with that. Um, okay, let me guess. This room is full of traps. No, it's not. Okay. Um, this room is empty. Hmm. This looks pretty empty too. Hmm, how about this room? Uh, looks also empty. Yes. Ah, that's wh what we need the red keycard for. I believe. Um, okay, does this contain the combat armor? No, it contains ammunition. Um, it contains energy cells. Hello. Okay, let. Okay, tissue. Um, it's time for some inventory management. Okay, you get all the heavy stuff. The silly. Armor, bloody rifle, and this crappy ammunition. Yeah, that's a good trade. Okay, now we can yeah, grab the ammunition, I suppose. I mean, we can at least sell it. For profit. Um, yeah, if nothing else. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to use this ammunition myself. Um, and most of these... Uh, the ammunition is probably also not used by Mo my companions. Okay, um, so there's only this elevator left. Hmm. Okay, the uh, radiation seems to have stabilized for some um, somehow. I'm still a bit um, worried that. The Red X um, didn't remove our radiation. I hope this is not a bug. Um, I hope this actually did something. Um, yeah, and I think you can also... Um, I mean, you can't actually loot these robots. Okay, maybe... And another elevator. Hmm. Ah, jackpot. Okay, we don't need another Geiger counter. Um, we'll take the book, the rat away, the pills. Um, yeah, and leave that for the moment. Um, ah, grenade. This we will take. Leave the armor 
Um, well, we take the rockets. Hmm. Uh, Ian, come here for a moment. I need to drop my stuff into you. That's not meant in a sexual way. You know that would also be a possibility if you're into that. Um, okay, now we can grab the remaining uh, healing items. Yeah, the Geiger counter brings. Um, should it, yeah, sh should. Bring me the equivalent of some 1,000, maybe even 2,000 bottle caps. Uh, this room is empty. This room contains a strange contraption, which either looks like a brewing stand or a toilet. Um, can't decide uh, which it more looks like um, another irradiated body and he has the blue key card or pass key and a medical table the drain in the center of the table is clocked probably um, clocked by blood oh I think I know what this is. Um, well, I, so I played this game before, but I don't remember everything, of course. But I do, I do remember that. Um, and if I, if I remember correctly, then um, we will now meet another entity, an intelligence and. Um, for this reason, we should probably uh, take some Mantad pills. I mean, we do play a very intelligent character in this game, but still, uh, we haven't maxed out the intelligence stats, so I think I left a rocket in there. Didn't I? No, it was in the other locker. I wonder when I if, when I will eventually run a crowbar. Okay, I mean, yeah. I, mean, I could take it, but uh, it would be a bit silly. Um, we're going to look at this last. I think we are going to explore. Oh, actually, we came in from there, so... Hmm. This is... We should probably investigate this now. Um, and we should... We should heal ourselves, now that I... See that we are only on 13 hit points. Uh, and we should also take a mantet so the problem with mantets is that they have the side effect of making you dumber um, when you're on withdrawal okay. how may I be of assistance um, tell me about this um, Who or what are you? I am a machine intelligence, dedicated to research and installation control. I am Zax. What kind of control? Are you fully aware or are you a personality simulation? That is, are you alive? I am capable of learning, independent thought and creativity. My neural network includes error insertion 
capability, that's interesting, which prevents infallibility, thereby allowing for variance in experience. In a sense, I am alive, though not biologically. Um, have you considered the philosophical implications of your own consciousness? That is one of the concepts which I have spent a significant amount of time considering. I do not have any measure to compare my life experience to that of another sentient creature. Still, my awareness of my own consciousness allows for the capacity to question. My existence has a beginning and a potential termination. I am also capable of making assumptions in pursuit of a process of thought. Yeah, that's... This is the reason why you want to max out your intelligence before you talk to that thing. In this fashion, I am effectively capable of faith. Barring... Uh, bearing? Barring? Evidence? To the contrary, I therefore have faith that I possess the equivalent of a soul. May I ask you some other questions? Um, tell me about this installation. West Tech Research Facility, founded in 2002 as a private contractor for the United States government. The company initially consisted of two divisions, the Advanced Weapon Research and the Biomedical Sciences Division. Divisions. In 2069, West Tech was the single largest contractor for the United States government. Its largest contract being powered infantry armor model T-51B. Um, that's the power armor. In light of significant advances in 2076 by the NBC on the Pan Immunity Variant Project, the United States Defense Department, in fear of international espionage, moved a team onto the site to secure and oversee the project, now dubbed the FEV. Forced Evolutionary Virus Project. Um, can you tell me the particulars about specific areas? How does the virus work? Um, my research into the Forced Evolution Virus, or FEV, indicates that it is a shifting absorptive virus. It copies DNA patterns much like RNA, storing these patterns in exons. These exons, combined with the FEV, are re-injected into the host cells in typical viral infectious fashion. This causes the host cell to regenerate their DNA. Hmm. How do you catch... Um, If the FEV reinfects the host with its assimilated viral patterns, how does it make a better specimen? The FEV is pre-programmed with introns of corrected DNA appropriate to the proper type of species. It therefore attempts, attempts to correct the DNA of the individual. However, as the FEV is partially reliant upon the DNA of the individual and also includes portions of its own recursive code, the effects can be unpredictable. And indeed they are. When inoculated into an individual with significant genetic damage, such as through radiation, it will cause the body system to suffer massive overhauling, leading to organ failure and death. So that's, uh, that's apparently the reason why the mutant leader was looking for a pr for a prime normal, that is, someone who has not been exposed to the radiation. Um, in a genetically viable individual, it rewrites portions of DNA, causing accelerated mutation, usually leading to recursive, recursive growth to, due to the FEV's own patterns. This recursive growth leads to an increase in muscle and brain mass but is often accompanied by disfigurement and damage to existing neural patterns, causing loss of memory. What potential long-term side effects exist? 
as the FEV causes constant regenerative update to DNA, it would effectively render the subject largely immortal, as cell death would be offset by augmented growth. Additionally, as the game ga gametes of the reproductive system consist of half cells using split DNA, they could be perceived as damaged by FEV, which would, which would repair them, rendering the subject sterile. Um, I see. Um, so these, apparently these mutants, they are immortal and sterile. Hmm. I think that's not good. I mean, even if they are sort of superhuman, without death, there's no, without a life and death cycle, there's certainly no progress possible. I would believe so. That's probably not such a good idea. Um, this FEV, this FE virus, but anyway. However, as my laboratory faculties facilities are damaged beyond repair, this is conjectural. I cannot offer physical proof. You will have to, in human terms, in human terms, take my word for it. Could FEV mutation be corrected with a counter virus? <laughs> no. FEV does not retain unaltered original copies of the subject's DNA. Only a virus which reinfected the subject with original DNA could reverse the effects. Additionally, there is no known way to remove the FEV itself. <coughs> sorry, um, yeah. that's me being sorry, not the, not the intelligent computer. Okay. Uh, what? Yeah, we already heard about the side effects. Um, can we change the subject? Um, Tell me about the installation. Um, can you tell me about particulars about specific? Can you tell me particulars about specific areas? My sensors are currently non-functional in the surface facility, and on subterranean levels one through three. I can, however, provide descriptions of levels four through six. Level four, a research facility. This level contains testing areas and labor laboratories for experiments in biology and physics. Tell me about level 5. Um, secure testing labs. This level contains a lab for experimental prototype testing and a research lab for classified subjects. These subjects provide some of the necessary impetus for the development of FEV. Okay, that sounds intriguing, I think. Uh, what about level 6? Um, <laughs> Barracks and Central Operations. Contains living facilities for lab personnel and guards cont contingents. And operations meeting room. Okay, back up a bit. Uh, Want to play a game of chess? I would be delighted. Your current record is zero wins, zero draws, zero losses. Please choose your color. Um, I think I'm going to choose white. Very well. And the length of the game? Uh, uh, let's go for Blitz. No, let's go for Bullet. Three minutes per player. It would seem that you have defeated me. Extraordinary. Play again. Uh, white. Uh, bullet. Hmm. Okay, let's defeat him one more time. Hmm. I don't know if that actually does anything. Um, could you please grant me access to the mainframe? Ah. Base information. Uh, I think we know that already. Okay. Uh, Terminate what? Terminate program? Oh, it's talking about this program. Uh, um, security information. Ah. 
Okay, robots inactive. Records of the research divisions employs records. Robert Anderson. Research assistant, security clearance blue. Stationed Mariposa military base. Nick Davis, director of NBC division. Security clearance blue. Uh, John Isaac, clearance red. Steve Remco, clearance blue. Charles Reinhold, spelled in a funny way. Research head of laser development, clearance blue. Michelle Santos, clearance red. Aaron Shellman, blue. Leon von Felden, blue. <laughs> Research head of FEB. Download records to Pip Boy. Okay. Uh, power armor status complete. Is designed with the. Okay, just let's okay, download this. Mm. FV summary, summary Digest 2073. As China became increasingly aggressive with the use of biological weapons, the United States government felt that a countermeasure was needed. The Pan Immunity Variant Project was officially formed September 15, 2073. 2007. Huh? 2075. Uh. Ah, it's. Okay. 2075. It became clear that the best way to combat the newly created biological weapons was to alter unaffected DNA so that it was no longer susceptible susceptible to standard viral infection um so apparently this fe virus was initially uh, just meant as a counter measure against biological weapons and not just as a silly science science fiction demented science way of providing immortality um which makes a lot more sense i guess 2076, unforeseen side, effect, side effects began surfacing in early 2076 with the PVP. Animal test sub subjects began showing an abnormal growth rate accompanied by increased brain activity. The US government took notice of these discoveries and, in the interest of national security, moved a team on site to secure and oversee the project, which was now dubbed the FEV. Forced evolutionary virus project. Yeah, this just confirms what we uh, just learned. 2077 FEV nears completion. Tests on lab animals are at a near 100% success rate. Size and muscle density increase approximately 60%, and the potential intelligence increase by 200%. Effects upon human subjects remain unknown. Although they are theoretically promising, the military, wishing to continue thorough testing, builds a large facility at the Mariposa military installation in central California. At this new facility, testing of the FEV virus continue. Testing of the FEV virus. Well, it's called. That's silly. I mean. I don't know if, yeah, so if this mistake here is, um, was made intentionally by the game designers, but maybe not. So, I mean, if it's, so it's forced evolutionary virus, you don't need to put a virus there. Okay, testing of the FEV virus continues on volunteer subjects from the military, yeah. You can probably guess how much, uh, how much volun, um, how much volun, voluntary goes into that. Uh, power terminus, power management. No, don't, don't bring up the main power, please. I don't want to deal with these. Uh, I don't want to deal with a horde of aggressive uh, sanity bots. Um, yeah, and when we come back, folks, we will descend.
further into... Yeah, I believe we are actually at this Mariposa research facility. Yeah, so... Anyway, we will descend. Uh, further down. When we come back, folks, so until next time, folks, until then.